Hey guys, it's Peter Jordan with Lost Angler, and today we're, we're going to look at how, before you even get to the water, to pick apart the water that's unproductive from the water that is productive here in Mobile Bay and the Mississippi Sound and in just in this local area. And we're going to show you how to use a website that is immensely useful and how to look for certain conditions in the different areas in the water figure out where your highest concentrations of fish are going to be and where you can most effectively sight fish or use a fly rod. And what we're going to go do is um, we're going to look at the website. I'm going to kind of explain as we go. Here are some contributing factors we're looking for. We're looking for water temp, dissolved oxygen, salinity, and turbidity. And we're going to take a look at each one of these places kind of figure out which one is the most keen. Now, don't get me wrong. For some of these people that fish in our area, I'm going to say this area may not be as productive as this area. And there's going to be people that can go, well, you know what? I had a wonderful weekend fishing there just the other day. And conditions, according to you, would have been terrible. But I did great. Yes, you are correct. And if you're using conventional tackle and live bait, then you have, uh, you, you can, some situations are going to be a lot easier for you to handle than those for us. So I'm looking at this from a fly fisherman standpoint and try to help you guys uh, eliminate unproductive water or water that's not quite as well suited to fly fishing. So let's take a look, we'll go from there and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so here we are. This is mymobilebay.com. This is a free resource for everybody to take advantage of and I highly suggest that you do. We've got the environmental monitoring system. So what I like to do is I like to operate from the map, okay? Now there's some other very useful things that don't need to be discounted. For example, you got the marine forecast right here. Definitely need to keep an eye on that. And then telecast has the radar. And then you've got uh, buoys all throughout. So take a look at them. Tide charts. Very, very, very useful. If you're not looking at this before you go fishing or planning a week's fishing, uh, you're you're shorting yourself. What well, can be awesome. So right here, my office is right here. I'm right here in Daphne, okay? And we're going to look at the closest ramp. So the closest ramp to me is at Mayor State Park. And let's take a look at it. Now, my air temperature is 75.7, very nice day. Relative humidity is low. Uh, for down here, it's very low. Wind direction is not too bad, uh, 2.3 knots, very little wind whatsoever. Barometric pressure is good. Solar radiation, I have no idea what that has bearing on. Anyway, let's go down to what I actually look at. Water temperature, 67.8. It is rising just a little by little. Uh, water height is 3.63, so we have a rising tide right now. And we'll have it until close to uh, close about 9 o'clock. Anyway, salinity is down. <clears throat> Here's what I've got. I've got 0 0.4. So what this means is I have very, 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 very little salinity. Does this mean that there are no redfish in the area? No, not at all. Redfish don't play by the rules very much. But because the salinity is so low, I can count on... Um, I can count on the clarity of the water to be pretty low. Dissolved oxygen content is 85.2. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is actually way up. It's actually improved since yesterday. So that's what we're looking at. Now, let's take a look at a few more things. Let's go to the next place. We're going to go back to the map. All right, so we're going to work our way down the bay. So let's look at Middle Bay. Now, Middle Bay is going to give me a good picture of uh, Fowl River and Dog River and then... Weeks Bay guy has his own little thing going on. And you have to remember the way the current of Mobile Bay works is a little bit different. So let's take a look. Mobile Bay. All right, from here, I'm not going to get too much that I might want to get from the other one. What I do have, however, is I'm looking at the wind speed. So as we go further down the bay, it's picked up to around 9 miles per hour from 2 to 9. Not a humongous increase, but it is an increase. Um, we would assume that chop is coming on up. Now, temperature is dropping. So whenever you go out further down into the bay, the temperature is going to go down. Winds are going to pick up. Let's go to the next one. The next place I like to look at is Weeks Bay. Now, when I look at Weeks Bay, it's going to tell me uh, a lot about my backwaters that day. So you got meteorological and hydrographical. I don't know if you can see it from right here. We're going to do hydrographic details. Here we are now, we're cooking with gas and it is loading. Boom, here's what we're looking at. Salinity, one, not too bad. Dissolved oxygen, 33, that is terrible. So I am personally, I'm probably gonna stay out of this area pretty good bit. 
Turbidity isn't too bad, so it may be a little bit clearer. Uh, pH is fine. Depth is, is what it is. But the salinity is pretty far down. So I'm actually going to probably avoid this because that my dissolved oxygen content is really low and my salinity is low. But because the turbidity is down, this tells me that there is a chance. So let's get a little bit closer to the main bay and let's see if that doesn't pick up. All right, so from here, we're going to do Bon Secure. Bon Secure is, I'm going to pull up a Google thing real fast. Let's take a look at Bon Secure. So we started right here at Mayor State Park. Okay. Right here is Mayor State Park. So this would be where we get looked at our first bit of info. Okay. All right. And we're looking at the very bottom of the delta. So here's Mayor State Park. So do take in with a grain of salt that they're taking their recordings here, not close to the main river. So you are going to get, it's not flushing out as much as the other areas, okay? So let's zoom out. Let's take a look. All right. And we're going to take a trip down to Weeks Bay. So here we are. So they're doing their recording at the upper part of the Weeks Bay. All right, so down here, we could have much better salinity and much better dissolved oxygen because my water is moving a lot more, okay? All right, so let's pull back out. Now let's look at the next place we're going to look at. Next place we're looking at is Bon Secure. This is Bon Secure down here. We're at almost at the bottom of the bay, and we got a few cool things to take a look at. But let's go back to what we were talking about. So here we are. This is part of the Weeks Bay Reserve. Let's pull up this. All right, dissolved oxygen. 95.1 that is a lot better these fish are going to be a lot more active let's look at the next part all right salinity 15.2 now we're getting to where we're cooking with gas guys this is something that is really really promising we're going to go back and we're going to look at some other important things like our wind direction okay and we're going to take a look at that in just a minute to kind of get a feel of where our winds are coming from so that we're fishing in the correct areas and what we're looking for is finding clear water so we know we're probably going to start down here because my salinity is picking up higher. My dissolved oxygen is getting a lot better. So let's go on out from there. The next place we're going to look at is going to be Fort Morgan. Now Fort Morgan, the way they have their setup, isn't going to show us quite everything we might want to see, but it does show a pretty good little bit. Um, let me pull this up real fast. All right, chilling and chains, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're not really getting too much from Fort Morgan. That site is down. All right, here's Dolphin Island. So this is putting us just about in line with Fort Morgan, and I'm going to kind of point this out real quick. So here's Fort Morgan right here, and here's Dolphin Island. There's not a humongous change. However, my wind direction will change from here, and I'm going to kind of look at that in just a second. So from in this area, we had winds from the east, so they're pushing right in. So this would tell me... I've got a tide that's rising. My winds are coming from the east. I'm honestly going to be looking at back areas. Maybe Oyster Bay might be nice. Okay, Or down in here, I'm going to look through the fingers. Right here. Plenty of good areas so far. Not a bad deal. Okay. Alright, but here is Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island has some excellent fishing as well. Let's take a look at what that says. Alright. Ooh, 91. So we actually had better oxygen in Bon Secure, but better salinity here. So we're probably looking at uh, considerably pretty clear water, I would imagine, and oxygen level is pretty good. So all in all, if I was looking for a central place to launch from today, I might look at Bon Secure and look at fishing from here down through here. Now, this is if you're on the eastern shore. If I'm on the Dolphin Island side, I can go all the way across here and enjoy all that as well. But for some of us, we might be fishing a different area. The next place we're going to take a look at is if we're going to be fishing in the Mississippi area, Mississippi Sound. We're going to look at uh, Grand Bay. So let's take a look at Grand Bay. All right. And we've got a few other places we can take a look at too, but we'll get into all that later. Let's do Grand Bay. Hydrographic. Da, da, da. Uh, now we're dangerous. So, turbidity is low. It's dissolved oxygen is high. 
From this, we can probably infer, even though it doesn't give us salinity right now, we can infer the salinity is probably pretty daggum high. And let's look at where that would be in our life. We've got the Google Interactive Map right here. Uh, so I want to come up. No worries. So here is the Grand Bay resource area, right in through here. Sweetness. This is actually a wonderful little bit of water to fish and really enjoyable. You've got Bane's Lake through here, and from here where you launch over this way, I can also fish Petty Boy and Horn Island. So during the fall, you can get runs of redfish that are going to be all on the outside. Uh, Bonita, uh, Kings, all that. So there's plenty of cool places to look at. So here's what we're looking at. From a fly fisherman's perspective today, I am probably not going to enjoy the northern part of Mobile Bay. I'm probably only going to look at the southern part of Mobile Bay down, and I'm probably going to start with Bon Secure and work my way over. Okay, Now, Mississippi is seeming to have a little bit better, and the reason is we had a lot of freshwater influence from right up here in the delta. Okay, So take a look at this. Sometimes conditions are going to change. When the salinity picks up in the upper bay, it's probably going to be really excellent fishing. Cool. So this is a way you can use a simple website to pick apart water and be more productive. And next time we're going to take a look at wind direction and water clarity. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I realize that was not the most exciting video in the universe, but I hope that it was helpful and I hope that it helps you to pick apart water in um, your area. I'm sure that there's many other estuaries that have that same um, assets you can enjoy. And uh, so... Good fishing. Thank y'all for watching. We'll catch y'all later.